You're kidding. Which one? Buddy or chum? Oh, damn these kids. Okay, pal. He did what? What? It's just a little fire. But those bleachers are free fabricated. Can't the school just... All right. Well, I'm not going in to talk. I went in last time with the pal. whole dead squirrel thing. Pal. It's... Okay, one second. Yeah, yeah honey... Honey, this is one of those times I need you to be a mom. Okay? Pal, we have what this. What did we say? Come on, we have this what did interview we say? to You're shoot the mom. Now. Well, yeah. Oh, don't get smart. All right. Okay. All right. I love you too, peanut butter. All right, what's the first I'm question? your jelly. Pal. All right, bye, 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 bye. Hey, we, sorry. Uh, we were get, got a call from the, the kids are out of control. Yeah, I know. It seems like every week um, something's going on with yeah, the Yeah, doesn't it, though? Doesn't yeah. it, though? Um, look. Can you go back to what you were telling us about uh, the whole why we have in our contract now um, having c crew members of fabrication? Fabric, or, yes, yes. Yeah. Uh, well, you know, the FACLU has uh, launched a new initiative called, uh, you know, Affirmative Action, in which uh, we, we like to take uh, people of flesh, uh, fabric, and fleece and put them together in the workplace. So uh, anytime you have a puppet production that involves, uh, you know, puppet actors, we also make sure that uh, at least two crew people are, uh, are people of uh, fabric or foam. How does that work out? Oh, it's worked out wonderfully, wonderfully. Uh, what do you do on this show? Oh, come on. You guys know what I do. You're there all the time watching what well, I do. Well, this, I explained this to you already. We're doing an EPK. We need you to answer, you know, full... Right. Okay. Right, right, right. All right. As if we're not asking you questions. Exactly. Sure. Okay. So, uh, mm. Wumpus, what uh, what do you do on the Greg the Bunny show? Oh, come on, you guys know what I do. What? I, I, I uh, you know, you see me every day. Can I do a lot of things, and you guys know each and every one of them. Uh, okay. Uh, you know how I do the, uh, uh, with the, uh, right? Right? Yeah, just but describe sure, your so, job. Can you just describe your job mm. for us? Mm. Okay. Uh, sure. Uh, uh, like, to you? Yeah, what do you, you guys do? You guys already know, uh, pretty uh, much, uh, you Wumpus. guys told me what to do. Wumpus, you're pissing me off. Oh, Wumpus, please describe your role in the show. That's all we ask. Okay. Uh, I uh, work for you guys. You know, you know, it makes me feel good that someone like uh, Wumpus here, good job, Wump! Yes, hello! Can, uh, you know, continue to to show that they have positive value uh, and be part of a, a production. Now, after this, this production may want to pick him up and use him for other jobs. Light is turning on, everyone! And firing! Yeah. Cut. Cut! Huh. All right, everyone, sound department needs to record wild sound. Quiet. 30 seconds, please. 29, 28, 27, 24, 22. If I can help one puppet get a good job where they feel rewarded, then I've done my part. Yeah. Yeah. It's rewarding. It's really rewarding. I love Pal Friendlies. He is my agent. Yes. Mm. And uh, uh, he treats me much better than his other clients. Uh, taking, uh, I think his other clients, he takes about 15% of what they do. And with me, he takes 30. Um, why does he take 30 from you and 15% 15 from, 15 from everyone else? Because I'm the smart one. 29, 7, 6. I hear rustling. In 1972, a crack puppet acting troupe landed a network sitcom. When their show was canceled, they escaped underground to the Independent Film Channel. If you have an independent film that you need to parody and no one else can help, maybe you can watch Greg the Bunny. Fiddy well, little brother. Fiddy well. Okay, that's a wrap. Hey, hey, rap time! That is when we play Adventure! What? Want to connect three or four? No, I wouldn't. I gotta be somewhere to do that thing. Again? How about you, Warren? I don't like you, Wumpus. Oh, that's why it's no liking on me. Sean! Can't. Okay, well, Can't well, you well, hear him? Hey, Greg, would you like to maybe play some games with me? Gee, I'm sorry, Wumpus, but you know I'm having lunch with a friend today. Oh, Wumpus wishes that he had a friend. So they just stuck with Oral because, hey, you know, it was his daughter, for God's sake. Yeah. 
Are you even listening to me? You know, I'm sorry, Gilbert. It's just, uh, it's this guy at work. He's this tall, gangly, purple thing, and he's, like, very needy for retention, but nobody likes him because, uh, he's a little slow in the noggin. Oh, wait, wait. You're saying he's a big retard, right? Well, he's a great big retard. You don't want to be friends with him because he's a goddamn retard. He, like, drools a lot. Yeah. Yeah. He's got yeah. that caveman brow. Yeah, yeah, it does. He does. Does, does he talk like... Nuh, 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 nuh. It's more of a ha, 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 but uh, yeah. You know something? You're being very selfish. <laughs> it's hard for a retard to make friends. Really? You have to be friend retards. It's a way of thanking God that you've got a normal oh. mind. Hmm. So what you're saying is... Be friends with a retard! Really? Mm, mm, very inspiring words, Gilbert. Nice. You know what? I'm going to go back there, and I'm going to suggest to him that we hang out. You're going to befriend a big retard. Yeah. Ah. <laughs> <laughs> Why don't you uh, take care of this? I'm going to go and, uh, and see him now. Always. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> That was fun. Let's fill it up again. <laughs> you know, Wumpus, there's lots of fun stuff that we could do together. Stuff? Together? <laughs> hey, Wumpus, Wumpus, calm down, calm down, okay? My feet are confused. No, 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 no. Just look, look, look. It's just like walking, okay? Hold still. There you go, let go, let go. It's just that you got wheels on your feet. Like a robot. Yeah, yeah kind of like a robot. Now, just walk with me. Come on. There you go. There you go. And now, just feel the music, see? Lumpus ah. feels music. That's it, that's it. Now you're skating, see? <laughs> no, I'm skating. I love it. Oh, uh, <laughs> it's all right, it's all right. Don't fall, just stay with me, stay with me. Greg's got you, buddy. Buddy? Greg, are you Wumpus's friend? Uh, yeah, sure, I'm your friend. Alone, bird. Friend. Good. Hey, I wanted the rainbow cookie. Oh, well, the difference between you and me is I got the rainbow cookie. <laughs> but I called dibs on it this morning. Oh, you did? Oh, I didn't realize you called dibs. Well, you know, rightfully, this should be your cookie. Psych! Yeah! <laughs> 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 I don't even like cookies. I thought I was going to throw up in my mouth, but I didn't. <laughs> yeah. That's funny. That's funny. And you know what else is funny? One time, me and this guy we did this thing, and uh, and it was like a total accident. <laughs> okay, okay, listen. I think I've had enough, and I think it's time to go home. <laughs> I like that suggestion. Yeah, baby. You want to go home? Hmm? Yeah? You and me can maybe bump some uglies tonight, huh? Eh? <laughs> Who's that? Uh, oh! Like you're banned for life. Uh, you're banned for life. How's that? You, you're, you're, you're. It's my alleyway. I don't care anyway, because I've got to pee. Mmm, there we go, little W's out. Ooh, they say the greatest nation in the world is the urination in Whoa, and the ape! Huh? Huh? What? Uh, oh, look who it is! <laughs> if it isn't the big scary monster! <laughs> you were mean to Greg today! I'm sorry, was I mean to Greg today? What? Let's think, why would I have been mean to Greg? Maybe because he's a big uh, fucking asshole? Yeah! Hey, hey, get the hell off me. Hey, you don't fucking touch me. Yeah! You got, ah, ah, okay. 
Smoke, smoke. <clears throat> How you doing there, Greg? Uh, not too good, pal. Not too oh. good, cause I'm I'm here on my MySpace page, and I'm noticing you ain't left me one comment today. Yeah, well, when I'm somebody gonna... sends you a comment on yeah. MySpace, it is common yeah. courtesy to write back immediately. I, I hear you, immediately, Greg, but I've been pal. On a new no, deal for you. Pal, I want you to get your priorities I... straight, okay? Well, Otherwise, I'm are. gonna have to look for a new agent. To... Oh, I gotta get rid of that guy. Why, yes! Yes, Greg the Bunny is very interested in a multi-million dollar sitcom deal. Yeah, well, that would be great! All right, well, thank you, Fox Network, and, uh, let's all try not to fuck it up so much this time, huh? Yeah, uh, hello? <laughs> Booyah! <laughs> oh, hey, Wump Man! How you doing? I just got some great news here for Greg the Bunny. When he hears about this, he is gonna be my new best friend! <laughs> What the hell are you doing? What the fuck is your problem? You almost forgot me. Yeah, almost. Uh, listen, Wumpus, okay, mm. we don't have to hang out every second of every day. You know, Greg needs a little personal space, just for a little while. Can a little while be over now? Ugh, I can tell this isn't gonna work out. Hey, Wumpus, look up there at the big giant whirly gig. <gasps> wow. Uh, whirly gig? Yeah, that's well, huge, huh? Ah, okay. Yeah. Oh, I don't see. oh, look at the colors. Yeah, yeah a lot of colors there. Uh. I'll, uh, I'll see you later, Wumpus. I got a very important lunch with a good friend of mine. Come on. Greg! Greg? Greg! 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 No, the guy stuck to me like Velcro. I had to practically rip him off me to get away from him. I don't understand you. I leave you alone for two seconds, you run off and make friends with a retard! But, Gilbert, you told me to! You're totally selfish! Me? It's like, oh, look how great I am! I have a retard best friend! Yeah, uh, you're right. You know, you're right. I, I, you know, him being special made me feel special. Oh, boy, have you ever watched these retards hang out? It's like a scene from Quest for Fire. Wolfis! Ah! <clears throat> now that there are holes in that guy, you and me can be best friends forever. Uh, that's right, Wumpish. <clears throat> friends forever. <laughs> it is with a very sad heart that Wumpus cry about these hyenas' crimes. <sniffs> And admit to everyone here that the real murderer was one Gregus the Bunny. I'm sorry, what? My best friend. <laughs> Do you have any evidence, Mr. Wampfus? Yes, sir. I present photographic evidence. Here, we can clearly see Greg killing with murderous rage and hatred. Making me completely innocent. Oh, who gives a damn? The rabbit is guilty. What? Uh, uh, how did I get this assignment anyway? In no many parts, the inferior spirit to some to it. Oh, man. <laughs> Andre, I didn't do nothing! You're right. Oh, ouch! Here we go. You know, I was always more of a fan of the Fox show myself. 
No, I mean, we did have a bigger budget and the creative genius of Mr. Steve Levitt. Ow! Shoot! Where the hell is everybody? They're dead! <clears throat> Came along. <clears throat> That guy said that we could find a repo man in here. Who repossessed that car? I did. You did? Yep. Now, who was the owner of that car? That was a lady from uh, Brooklyn. So people uh, on the whole are pretty good about getting their cars taken away? Yeah, that doesn't prevent us from getting shot or stabbed. It has happened. Oh, really? Baseball bats, they let the dogs loose. It happens all the time. What was the most horrible experience you had repossessing a car? The most horrible experience was probably having a gun held to my head. Do any of these get chopped up, or do they all get taken to auction? They'll get taken to the auction, or the uh, owners get them back. They do have the opportunity to get it back. Wow. What is one of the best experiences you had repossessing a car? Uh, naked women running out the door. All right, have they ever, you know, like, offered you anything in servitude to uh, keep you from taking the car? Not really. Could you be bribed, possibly? Is no. there an amount that Seth has that you could, you could reach him? No, no amount. No. I can't risk losing a client. So, have you ever actually uh, repossessed a possessed car? Any Christines to speak of? <laughs> No. How you doing, Frank? Frank, you repoing any cars today? Can I go with you? No, not allowed? I want to see someone get real pissed off come running out of their house. I want to show you. I'll run you somebody over. What about dogs? I've been chased, but never bit. Chased, but never bit. And what do you do, jump jump back in your truck? I usually hit him with a mag light. Best experience is a voluntary. Somebody who just realizes they don't want that car anymore and they just give it up. They just hand it off to you. Yeah. Alright, those, so those are usually like depressed, nebbish people who just don't want to put up a fight. <laughs> Skinny guys in bathrobes, right? Yeah. With the slippers. <laughs> With the slippers. Yeah, yeah, I can see that. How many hours do you work? 20 hours a day. How many days a week? Five to six. The repo man is supposed to be a mean, dirty, grizzly guy chewing a cigar. Comes to your house and just rips your car off while you're sleeping. How are you so nice? Well, if we come in all different shapes and sizes, just like in any job. All right. <laughs> Spencer, you pay off your car? I don't have a car, Greg. Either do you. Oh, all right. Woo! Well, I guess that's it. Thanks very much, Seth. I really appreciated the visit. No problem. Thank you, Repo Man. Oh, you're welcome. You're my best friend. I try. Yeah, but you do have I'm going to be QRS, TUV, WX, Y, and Z. All right. Now, what the fuck is that? That's my elocution exercise. Why don't you jump behind the desk? You want these orange cards? Man, don't be so defensive. Well, no, I just think that, you know, you got to take and you got to fly off and show me how much you know. Just go, fucking baby. No, say what you were going to say. No, go. No, say what you were going to say. No, go! There is an unlimited amount of... Rear pitcher that's bad for the fucking camera, asshole. Ooh, is it? Is it bad for the camera? What are you gonna do to me? Huh? You're gonna beat me up? Huh? Yeah, how do you like the light shining in your face? Yeah! <laughs> so come do something about. You're really fucking with me today, Spence. By the way. You done? We're buddies, alright? Alright, I love you. Watching CIN, I'm your host, Greg the Bunny. Well, today's top story, zombies, lots of them, everywhere. You had to be living under a rock the last few days unless you noticed that most of your friends and relatives are dead and trying to eat your brain. This broadcast is for all you viewers out there who are hopefully uh, trying to avoid the zombie plague. And if any of you zombies might be watching, stop eating people, it's bad! <laughs> <laughs> Lay off their brains, guys. All right, well, we've been getting your cards and letters screaming for help, and some actually managed to ask, uh, you know, legitimate questions, such as, 
why is there a zombie problem? Well, many of us have been asking this, and we have a few theories as to why. One person wrote in saying that he believes when hell is all filled up, there's nowhere else for the dead to go. Very valid. Reason number two, well, the government screwed us again, made some kind of biological weapon, and you know how they have all that toxic waste you see it in the movies. You don't think it's real? It permeates the ground and wakes up the dead. Another possible reason is some jerk went on an archaeological dig and sniffed around where he should now. Why can't they just leave well enough alone? Uh, possibly somebody read an incantation from the Book of the Dead. Not the Tibetan one. The, uh, the Necronomicon. And finally, you know, it just may be a choice. You know, as Fred Gwynn was once quoted as saying, sometimes, dead is better. Huey Lewis was also quoted as saying, sometimes, it's hip to be square. Both men are wrong. All right, let's talk hiding places, all right? Not every one of us is lucky enough to be in a television bunker. Those of you hiding in buildings or in tightly walled areas should be concerned about corners. See, these things can't move very fast, people, so they tend to, you know, just plant roots in one place and just wait and see if any food comes by. Well, I got some good news for you people who are living in America's heartland. Farmland is great for zombie infestations. They come at you as slow as molasses, you just whip your gun out, Pick them off from about, you know, a couple of yards away, and you move on. I would avoid really large fields in case an ironic circle of zombies should close in on you. There is really no more sad, scary, or slow way to be devoured by the human undead. It's not a good way to go. Now, people, in the event that you are bitten by a zombie, we hope that you will please take the unselfish way out and mercy kill yourselves or have a loved one do it for you. There's really no point in hanging around. Uh, we're gonna be doing a problem over here. What's that, Jeremy? We got a problem over here. Yeah, how many of them? Two many. Well, did you put on the sentry guns. You did. We got sentry guns here. I recommend them. They're great. You can get them still in Hammer Christmas. What? They're still coming. Well, then, I don't know. Hit them with brooms. We got a little problem here, uh, we seem to have a few deadites that are trying to creep their way through the, the, the front hallway. Uh, but we're going to handle this situation now. Uh, uh, wait, where are you going, Jeremy? Jeremy, I'm Jeremy, 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 let's get back to you. You're fired! You're fired! Jump, baby! Jump, baby! No! Bad jump! Bad jump, baby! Oh, yeah. oh. oh not again! This broadcast is over. Peter Jackson's upcoming films, a lot of the fans know this, is the Lord of the Rings trilogy, a series of three films, uh, the first to be released uh, next year. You uh, ever read Lord of the Rings? Yeah, you know, I did. I, I tried getting through the first book, and um, I, I was actually kind of bored of the rings, to be honest. But I know people love it. I don't want to step on toes. I, you know, I couldn't get through it. Maybe if I did, I would have loved it more. I'm sure it'll be a great film. Yeah, yeah. I heard the trailer. Kiss ass, kiss ass. Have you seen that trailer? I haven't seen the trailer yet, but boy, howdy, can I not wait?